Hawks at nine. Our first bloodhound in decades has joined the Flagler County Sheriff's Office and he's ready to go to work, but he needs a name. Oh my goodness, I got chills just <laughs> watching that. He's so sweet. This little guy will have a big responsibility someday at the Flagler County Sheriff's Office once he is fully trained and he's already working hard on that. But you heard Sheriff Rick Staley say the pup needs a name. So, you know, just like when you're naming your kids, Candace, mm -hmm. you want to see their face first, right? right? So a meeting is necessary to get this name. It's okay. That's right, and that's why we invited Sheriff Rick Staley, K-9 Corporal Fred Gimble, and the newest crime fighter to our studio today. He just wants to go start, like, mm -hmm. hounding already, right? He does. Well, hello, non-named pup. How are you? How are you two doing? How has this Good. excitement been kind of building with, with this new puppy? Well, you know, he's been kind of a rock star. Uh, <laughs> our, that video that you showed has 46,000 views. Oh, wow. We've had uh, 2,000 uh, submissions of names, mm -hmm. some duplicates, all, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be a hard choice. Now, this is the first bloodhound for the department in decades. So how long has it been, uh, how long has that gap been? I think it's been close to 30, maybe 35 years. Oh, wow. Uh, when, when the last time they had bloodhounds, originally they were purchased in law enforcement for escaped inmates, stuff like that. And, uh, and that's why the sheriff's office had it originally. And then they kind of went away into shepherds. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I mean, what kind of uh, responsibilities will he kind of grow into? Go ahead. Good boy. He's going to be uh, help us look for missing endangered people. Mm -hmm and missing juveniles and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Okay. And, I mean, you guys had the help of Putnam last year. It was, like, I believe, last October. I can, can, kind of give us a story about how you guys worked with Putnam, and was that kind of a... That was the impetus to us yeah. getting our own, because we had to borrow bloodhounds from either Putnam County Sheriff's Office, St. Mm -hmm. John's County Sheriff's Office, or Tomoka State Prison. And uh, Ricky uh, Wheeler, which was the missing endangered a child that mm -hmm. uh, we searched for for five days. When we finally found his clothes, Putnam, the canine out of Putnam County Sheriff's Office, led us right to uh, Ricky, brought him back, reunited him with his family. And it was at that point I said, okay, that's it. We need our own uh, bloodhound. That's right. So, I mean, we have different types of canines. We have German Shepherds. We have all of them who work in the forest. What do bloodhounds specifically do for you guys? Bloodhounds are just, they're not an apprehension dog. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're going to help us be able to find for those missing people without the chance or opportunity for them to engage men or anything like that. And their noses are supposed to be that much stronger. They're, they're specifically bred for tracking. It was funny because when we had Putnam here, I mean, his nose was on the ground. He was just, he didn't want to play. He just wanted to work. And I'm already seeing it in, in this little guy, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, he's already kind of mm -hmm. sniffing around. I mean, I, I, you were also saying that you were already kind of seeing his ability to, to kind of train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've, we've already started our training with him. Mm -hmm. um, we, we do what we call puppy tracks. There's like short little mm -hmm. burst tracks. And like you said, when we came in to the studio just now, mm -hmm. He was tracking everybody that was coming in right before us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't leave your shoes around, good girl. All right, well, K-9, K-9 Corporal, uh, kind of what, what are you most excited about, I would say, working with this little guy, this non-named little guy? <laughs> Just the opportunity to use this new asset that mm -hmm. we're very fortunate to be able to acquire. Mm -hmm. um, it's a whole new aspect of the K-9 unit. Right. So being able to front run it for now is very exciting. All right, so we have a big competition going on, uh, kind of a naming competition that ends oh, today. Oh, we have that link on clickorlando.com as well as your Facebook page. Right. So, I mean, what are kind of the, the names that have been kind of leading the pack here? Well, we've seen a lot of names. There's mm -hmm. actually a lot coming in from um, the Game of Thrones. Oh, yes. Uh, coming in. Yes. And then uh, the, there was a donor that actually donated the funds Ooh. to uh, purchase him. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Paso <laughs> or Paco has been oh. a lot coming in uh, after the donor. He, he looks like a Dumbo to me. <laughs> but that's that maybe the ears, right? I mean, Dumbo's coming back, right? We had Olaf here a couple days ago, too, from uh, Marion County. So, again, so you still have till tonight to be able to... To go right. for a name. And we'll pick a name and uh, announce it tomorrow. So oh. we still have time to submit. All right. And you can tell he's ready to go to work. He doesn't like being held. <laughs> nope. He's like, let me get going. All right. Well, thank you so much for All joining right, thank us. You. And I'm going to just call you Dumbo for now. It was nice meeting you, Dumbo. All right. Julie, Rich, do you guys have any uh, good names you can think of? Oh, names are hard. Let, what about Bo? 
Ooh, Bo, Hi, that's Bo. a good one. I just want to take him home and rock him to sleep. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Can she do that? Whatever yeah. his name it looks, is. It looks like Corporal yeah. Gimbel's doing that right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> he wants a nap now. Yes, he I does. Know, Lots of excitement today. Mm -hmm.